Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to quickly share with you something that I made the other night. And um, I spent about an hour making a journal. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it exactly like it is, but I wanted to show you where it is right now. Jason and I went to a beautiful cemetery. And uh, that's a picture of us as we started our walk. The statuary was so beautiful, and there were portions of this cemetery with just like the wrought iron fencing around certain portions and some really, really old grave markers and, you know, gravestones. And I just could picture so many of these ending up in black and white photographs. So here are just a few of the loose photographs that I still have to put into this little book or journal. I do want to write some in this. I'll look at this. So what I might change, and let me show you what I have so far. I Sometimes I come out here and I just create and I, I don't give it much thought. I grab what is closest to me and I just started picking up pieces of this off-white paper. I made three signatures with five pages each and folded them in half. So, of course, that's, you know, 10 pages or I guess 20 if you count front and back. And I just started sewing the photographs in with black thread. I grabbed a file folder with these little metal prongs in the front and the back but I did not do anything to really sturdy up the cover except sewing this fabric strip here that's got the dragonfly stamped on it. And then this turned out really neat. I took some tape. This is a Nashua tape. It's a metal, metal tape. So it's sticky on this side and then when you pull this paper back on the top, it looks like metal. And I put some alcohol ink on that and just painted that around and then used a cloth to take some of the excess up because it was wanting to, um, to come off. And I don't want this to be something that stains my hands every time I pick it up. I think that has calmed down though. And I know I'm gonna put some sort of image on the front, probably one of these that I just, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Uh, that That's really pretty. I might do that. And I might get some of my um, photo corners. I even thought about using a varnish or something on the front. And because the cover is still flimsy, like it's really pretty, but when I pick a journal up, I like for it to feel kind of chunky or heavy and I don't know, I, I feel like I want this one to have a little more weight. That said, the more I put into it, the heavier it gets. And I do have some lighter weight journals that I cherish that, you know, I, I don't know, I think, I think it's just what my expectations were with the photographs. And then when I got home, I did something a little bit different, but I still love it. So I'm, that's why I said I'm not sure if I'm really done with the cover. I do think these black photo corners on the front would be pretty. And this, I just wanted to keep these pictures so that Jason and I can remember that day. So I do like that. I might do that. Don't know yet about the varnish. If you don't, if you don't try things, you don't really figure things out. A lot of art, as far as I'm concerned, is trial and error. And, you know, putting the alcohol ink on here definitely gave that very old look. I do like that. It's kind of steampunk or industrial. So I do, I do like this. I think that's what I'm going to do with the front. Not sure if I will put anything else behind it because I like the way this looks. One of the things I thought about doing was taking the signatures out and putting something on the inside to make this a little bit heavier. I thought about 
painting the inside with acrylic paint, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to lift these out of the way, and that way these little metal clasps or prongs will still be available. But it's going to make this a little bit sturdier, and it's going to give it some, some texture. I have space to put more photographs in. Oh, and around the edges. So let's just look at some of the pages. I had a piece of lace that came from the scrap exchange from one of the barrels, and I just cut it up into pieces and sewed little bits and pieces with different photographs. Um, yeah, I just stood up. I want to, I really hope you can see the pictures. They're printed on glossy paper, so I don't want to lose the images as I'm going through here. This paint is watercolor paint that has a shimmer to it. And I, I, the first time, well, I knew I wanted to put some paint in here to give the pages some, you know, some texture and some more layers. But when I picked up that paint set, I put it back down because it was shimmery, and then I noticed the silver in it. And I thought, oh wait, that, that would be perfect because it would complement the front and the black and white pictures. So I basically used the whole pan of that silver shimmery paint in here, and I love the way that turned out. Look at that one, so pretty. I have to go to work this morning, but it just does me so much good to come out here, even if it's only for 10 minutes, and just sit in the quiet of my workshop and look at a few things and maybe think about a few things some of these, it might be hard for you to tell what's going on. And I do love the way some of the paint splatters have gotten over on some of the pictures. I tried not to let the bulk of the pictures get any paint on the front. There's a gravestone back here, and then this was a really pretty branch coming down with uh, blossoms on it. I love the way you can see those in front of the marker. And then I have, you know, blank space where I can write or add more of these photographs. I think I'm gonna go back and add more photographs. It looks like uh, a couple of pages are sticking a little bit. Look at that, I love the color there. I think I did switch over, that looks like a little bit different color. I switched over to sort of a, uh, it looked brown in the pen, and then once I started putting it on the page, it had almost a lavender look. That's pretty, and you can tell some moisture got into the center of that. That one as well, I love that picture, but you can see where the color of the photograph faded. You know, it almost looks like she has tattoo sleeves, but it's the old, old stone. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful in person. The entire cemetery is gorgeous. There is a section that is an old, it's Hebrew, um, and it's maintained by one of the, uh, what do you call it? One of the Jewish, uh, by one of the synagogues, I believe. It's, it's a beautiful part of the cemetery. And of course, we didn't go inside the, the fencing that was all around it, but just beautiful. And even though there are parts of the cemetery that kind of go off into the woods or you know, there might be some areas that look like they need a little bit of attention. Uh, I love when a cemetery is well maintained, and this one is. It's really, really pretty. Uh, I'll have to go back and get the name of everything and include that. My hope really soon is to get a new image zine up for October, and I know we're here at October 2nd. I haven't done it, but you all know that I've changed jobs. I've got a new grandchild. There's just so much going on. And, you know, this in the middle of a pandemic, which hopefully is calming down, although I understand that, you know, things are kind of surging again in different places. But my point is that I've had a lot going on, and I do want to do an October image zine. I would love to have it completed in the first week of October so that you have the last three weeks of October to print it out and work with that with your October journals. That's my goal. Well, it is getting close to nine and I know how fast the next few minutes are gonna go by. So I just wanted to show you this and I will be back really soon. Thank you for watching and thank you to new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. 
I will be back soon. Bye for now.